I don't have the patience to run for any kind of political office, but if I did run, it would be on one thing, and that's building infrastructure. The state of our infrastructure development is absolutely a joke. We're getting left behind by places like China massively. Look at my last video, rail network. From 2008 to 2020, China has built 40,000 kilometers of high speed rail over 200 kilometers an hour. We have built zero. China set out to build 461,000 kilometers of new highway by 2035. British Columbia hasn't built a new highway in about 40 years. In 1949, from Vancouver out to Chilliwack, they made a four lane road. It's still the exact same four lanes all the way from Langley to Chilliwack today. Granted, in 1964, they made those four lanes into a freeway with overpasses. That's because the population doubled between the 40s and the 60s. Now the population has almost tripled since then, and we still haven't built new infrastructure. And if you don't care about traveling, let's look at hospital beds. Uh, 1960s, we had about seven to eight hospital beds per 1,000 people in the USA and Canada. Due to lack of investment, it's gone down to about two. Have a look at China. They went from one and a half hospital beds per person all the way up to about four, four and a half. They increased their hospital beds by about four times, but we decreased ours four times. Now let's have a look at energy production. They went from 2,200 terawatt hours of power to 7,300 terawatts. Let's compare that to the USA. 2014, 4,162. 2021, 4,154. There's been no change in the amount of power capacity we have on our grid in North America. They're telling us to go buy electric cars, electric trucks, but they're not increasing the energy on the grid available for these electric cars. All that's resulted in is record high energy prices because we're being asked to do more with less. This graph should really show us how you're being left behind. In three years, China used 6.6 .6 gigatons of concrete. In a 100 years, the USA only used 4.5 gigatons. China is using more in just a few years than we're using in a hundred years to build up their infrastructure. And all this has a real effect to the people living in a country. In China, you'll notice that they nearly tripled the average wage from about 2,000 up to 7,000. That same time period in the US, wages stayed completely stagnant when adjusting for inflation. So China has had their average wages triple while ours stay flat. This generation has less money than their grandparents, less infrastructure per capita than their, their grandparents. We are being asked to do a lot more with less, and our politicians aren't doing anything. We need politicians to realize there's no such thing as a free ride in the world. We can't just rest on the infrastructure our grandparents built. We need to build a ton of infrastructure if we want to catch up. If our government doesn't start investing in us, we're going to be massively left behind by places like China.